heads it's gentlemen so I am very excited and as always I always forget today is January 28th it is 7 5 p.m. so I'll start with this so a couple weeks ago I decided that okay so about a month ago I was like hey I want to be a nanny well the nanny agency I found and every other one, I don't have enough experience outside my family, outside watching my brothers. So, I started looking at other things I could do. And I've been seeing a lot of videos about au pairing in other countries. So, as I got thinking about it, I'm like, I decided that I was going to look into it. So there's a couple different websites I looked, I looked at, but at the end I went with, I believe it, yeah, opairworld.com I believe it is. So I filled out my profile, I messaged families, other families messaged me, and so on. And one of the families that messaged me, I wasn't, so, I put some of my top countries, and that's where I was wanting to go. Some of them I know that I put are Italy, France, Thailand, the United Kingdom, um, there's some others, but those are some that I remember off the top of my head. Oh, in Spain. So, so a family from Italy contacted me. So I talked to them. I have had, I've lost track of how many families I've had contact me, at least 30. Or I contacted them. And then this family from France contacts me. And I'm like, huh. So, I look at it. Okay, that's just part of that then. There's a light thing right here, and I'm like, look like a piece of string or something. So, I talk to them. We Skype call, and I'm like, I love this family. I love their kids. I love just the idea, just everything. So, I... Like, so when you're going to be doing something like this, you have to take stalking, or bleh, my brain is dead. You have to take your safety very seriously. You have to do everything you can. You have to, literally everything you do, you have to think about your safety, no matter what it is. So I admit, I did do some stalking. Um, I found them on Facebook and looked at their public profiles. Um, I've done so much research in general about au pairing, which I can do another video later on of the research I've done. I contacted their last au pair that they had as a reference to talk to her, get her idea of the family. Y'all do, nobody realized realizes how much I've done. When I've grown up watching Ion Television, Law and Order Special Victims Unit, Blue Bloods, all of that stuff, I cannot sit there and do stuff without thinking of my safety. So, I admit I did, I did so much. I'll do another video just on how much I've done and still wouldn't get everything on that video. So, I talked to the family and they offered me the, the job, the position, and I accepted. So I said, yes, I'll think about it. And then like a couple minutes later, I messaged them. I'm like, sorry, I just, yes, I'll take it. And then a few minutes, it was, I can't remember what the message was, but it was like, yes, I'd love to, something like that. And then a few minutes later, I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm just way too excited. I can't type right. I accept the position. Yes, I'll come. I was, I was, and still I'm excited. It's starting to sink in slightly. But it still hasn't sunk in that, y'all, I'm going to France. 
I'm moving to France for a while. I am so excited. I don't know how to put it into words. So, I, obviously when I found out where they live, I did some research and I have looked at where they live. They do quite a bit of travel also. So I'll go into some of the details about the family later, keeping in mind safety and all that of the family right now. I do have a Facebook group that I have created that only certain people are able to be put in. If I know you personally, message me on Facebook, say, hey, I'd like to be part of the group. If I don't know you, I'll see. It depends on how we're connected. But if you know me personally, message me on Facebook, let me know on Messenger and say, hey, I want to be part of the group. So on that group, I'm going to have like pictures and video and just updates in general. And then on here, I'm going to do more of the vlogging style and all that. Don't know quite yet if the family is going to be on here or not. Don't know yet. Uh, me and the family are still talking about that. But if I know you, you'll get to see pictures on the Facebook group I created. So, and brain fog. Where was I? Um... So I talked to the family. So with a lot of different companies, the host family automatically pays for a lot. But I didn't go through a, a company per se. I went through Au Pair World. So it's free for Au Pairs and then families, I believe, pay like 40 euros or something like that. I can't remember. I don't know how much it is. But basically the family has to pay to be able to be part of... The website and so I talked to multiple families and one of the things that I had already like was a deal breaker a deal breaker was that I don't have the money to travel over there I don't have the money to pay for my visa such and such so I was looking for a family that I loved that I love the family love their ideas everything like that but we're still willing to pay for me to get over there. Either they take it out of my pocket money, they just pay, whatever it is. I didn't have the money. So this family was willing to do that. So they paid for the visa. So I have my visa appointment. Today is Tuesday. I have my visa appointment in Atlanta on Thursday at the French consulate to officially like take my stuff in and like officially like have my appointment to apply for my au pair visa in France. That's still weird to think about. Holy crap. Um, so, and then they will be paying for a phone for while I'm over there. Because I need a way to be able to contact them when I'm watching the kids. They pay for my classes at a local uh, language school. Uh, cannot remember the name. It's in French. And... They pay for my transportation to get to and from there. I'll have use of a car, but it's manual, so I'm going to have to learn to do that. My host dad said he'll teach me. We'll just have to sit there and see if I'm able to pick up on it. Um, I am provided with my own room. I also have my own bathroom, which I'm very excited about because I have two younger brothers. I've never had my own bathroom. I'm very excited about that. Um, at the school, there's other au pairs, so I'll have other au pairs. We'll be able to get together with the kids and be able to do stuff. So I work every weekday in the morning. I take the kids to school or daycare, whatever. And then in the afternoon, I watch them. Then I believe it's two days a week, I'll be going to French classes. I will be babysitting one night a week, and I have weekends free, so Saturday and Sunday. So, and they live in Le Mans, France, which is pronounced Le Mans, but it's Le Mans, and is the place of the 24-hour car race, and so I've been doing some research into that. That's in the summer, which I'll be there during the summer, so I might be able to do that. 
um, they travel, they do like weekend trips, so I will be able to go to different places in Europe and all that just to go with them. So if it's on the weekend, I'm invited to come. So of course I'm going to go. Um, unless I have plans already set up before they let me know. But depending on what it is, I still may go. Uh, I'm trying to think. They are an hour by train to get to Paris. To Paris! So I am so excited, guys. Y'all have no idea. Holy cow, it's already over 10 minutes. Y'all have no idea how excited I am. Um, it's starting to kick in slightly, but it still has not kicked in fully that, hey, I'm moving to France for a while. We'll see how it works. Um, so that is the video that I posted earlier of, so I'm going to sit there and give an explanation. So earlier I uploaded my, just my, um, sorry, I accidentally turned, I accidentally turned it off. Sorry. Earlier I uploaded my... Um, video intro thing that I put before all my videos. So I uploaded that because my friends Joanna and Lainey created the music and then the Z at the end um, my friend Joanna created that and then she has her little trademark thing at the bottom of the Z which is that little scribble. That's her initials. And so by the way don't know if you have to pay for copyright, but they created that for my YouTube channel, both the Z and the music, so nobody take that. But I uploaded that because when I'm in Paris, I didn't put this in the description because I wanted to do a full-on video of explaining, but when I get to France, I want to be able to create new video portions to recreate redo that video with that music so that I will be able to have something other than me because that video all those little clips in the video intro that are in there I did all of that on the same day but they created that for me I don't want to sit there and get that up but I'm sending this iPad back to the school. I don't want to sit there and lose that. So, someone on my Facebook commented, because I posted asking, hey, how do you get the thing off? Someone commented that you can do that by having the YouTube link and taking the sound off, like MP3, and then using it that way. And so I uploaded that video earlier, so I'll be able to do that. So that is why I uploaded just that clip. So this is getting kind of long. I'll do a vlog on Thursday of me going and on the way to Atlanta and stuff that I do in Atlanta. I'll do a vlog on Thursday when all that happens. But this is a kind of long video. I just wanted to give y'all an update. I did not post that I was applying to be an au pair. I did not post right away that I found a family. So far everything is working out. I need to apply for the visa. And I could be going to France within by the end of February. So I'm really excited. Um, it has been a long process of trying to figure out what I want to do. This gives me both worlds of being able to work with kids, being able to travel, being able to experience a new culture, learn a new language. I am so excited. So, as always, go live your sleepy life. Comment down below what is something you want to do. Give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe. Turn on notifications. That way you can be notified of all my vlogs and all of my experiences in France. And just remember... Go love your sleepy life. Bye, guys.